hello guys welcome to my fourth video on C programming in this video I will show you how to find the factorial value of a number using for loop and recursion so before we are getting started uh, there are a few things you have to remember mm, normally how we will find the factorial value of a number you have to multiply the number with the numbers less than the number so if the number is 5 we need to multiply 5 with the numbers less than 5 so here 5 times 4 is 20 20 times 3 is 60 60 times 2 is 120 so 120 times 1 is 120 which is the answer uh, so the factorial value of 5 is 120 so um, uh, now we are going to create a program which does the same thing but instead of going through multiplying all these uh, numbers less than 5 we are going to define a for loop which uh, goes through all the numbers less than the number so uh, once we apply a for loop it will be like this so the 5 uh, let's consider this uh, 5 as users input so we will multiply this 5 with the i so i is the for loops uh, loops value so every time the for loop is incremented uh, this i will provide the numbers less than 5 so it is very simple right so let's get started yeah. so now first uh, initialize uh, first uh, declare and initialize the variables So now the user inputs a number and it is stored in variable a. And here comes our for loop. So this loop will provide the numbers. So this loop will uh, loop up to the user's input if it is 4 it will this loop will execute for 4 times and every time it is loop it will provide the number uh, number okay uh, okay so now this is c will hold the result okay now every time it is loop uh, let's consider the input is 5 uh, the loop will uh, loop for 5 times this will loop for 5 times every time it is loop this uh, b will hold the numbers less than 5 ok and uh, this uh, this numbers will be multiplied and added to c ok um, uh, once i run this program you will get a uh, get to know what's going on here so finally let's print out the result So that's it. So let's run the program. So now here it shows the factorial value of 5 is 0. So that is an issue with our program. Let's see. So uh, whenever you are working with uh, factorial values, you should never use 0 anywhere. Okay. So now this C will hold the factorial result. Of, a, of an uh, number so we have to initialize this value with 1 not with 0 because if you initialize this uh, variable with a 0 here by default it will have a 0 so 0 is equal to 0 times any value provided by the loop will return as a 0 so now uh, so that's why we got the result as a 0 now uh, uh, now we initialize this one with a 1 and one more thing here we need to initialize this with a 1 because if it is 0 uh, uh, for the first time here it will be 1 
1 is equal to 1 times 0 will return 0 so we need to make it as 1 that's it now let's run the program now we chose the factorial value of 5 is uh, 24 because now uh, we have uh, we have set the starting value of the loop uh, from 0 to 1 right so the loop will uh, loop up to 4 times not 5 times so to make it uh, to loop for 5 times we need to use this equal to symbol which makes the loop to loop for uh, 5 times ok now let's check it out so it is 120 so uh, we got the answer and uh, in my second uh, tutorial I show you uh, how to use for loops in uh, different types so this is uh, one type and uh, you can use Make sure you put is as one minus minus. Let's check it out. So we got the same answer. That's right. So now here comes the recursion. Recursion is nothing else. The method that calls itself. So now let's define a function. We are dealing with integers, so make it as uh, int. So now, whenever the user inputs either zero or one, it will return one because uh, the factorial value of one is one. So we need to check whether the user inputs a 0 or 1. If it is so, re just return 1. If the user inputs something apart from 0 or 1, then this else statement will be executed. Else return a into call this method or function with parameters a minus 1 ok let me explain this <coughs> so to call this function we need to have a uh, have a uh, parameter right so here we are using the parameter as a minus 1 so what happens if we enter 5 it will be uh, 5 minus 1 so every time it is looped 5 times 5 minus 1 is 4 okay 5 times 4 and for the second time it becomes uh, 4 minus 1 which becomes 3 so 5 times uh, 3 and finally the all the uh, numbers less than this will be multiplied and finally multiplied to the original value so now let's see is equal to the fact of right let's check it out the number yes and then the number so factorial value of 1 is 1 and let's try different number 10 that's it so we got the answer uh, properly so these are the methods uh, through which we can uh, find out the factorial value of a number uh, hope you guys like this video and thank you for watching see you in next video